guys, so I'm gonna do a Primark haul today. I went to Primark yesterday, even though you're gonna see this a bit after, I think. But I got a few things, they had so many Disney stuff, I got so many things, but I had to hold myself back from it because they had so much stuff. But anyway, let me show you what I got. The first thing is this top here. I'm gonna go clothes, shoes, random stuff because I bought a few random bits. But the first thing is the top. This top right here is just grey with a few little daisies in it. It's sort of cropped but not really. Like it goes to that length that if you're wearing high waisted jeans it goes like just that length of the jeans. So like you're not really showing your tummy but it's not long that you have to tuck it in. And this was £5 so really nice for the top. The second thing is a body and this is a light blue it's kind of light blue, but at the same time it goes a bit towards violet. I don't know if that picks up on camera or not, but it's just the body that I got for four pounds and it does have the little buttons at the bottom so you can like undo it if you go to the bathroom or if you want to wear it more like a t-shirt rather than a body you can just undo it and wear it normally. But I thought that was really cute for the summer and stuff. I haven't really tried anything on yet, I'm going to try it on after the video to include in the cutaways. So I'm not sure how any of this fits, but we'll see. Then I got another top. I've been really liking the color mustard on my tops, so I got another one. I just, I don't know, I think it looks good on me and I think it looks cool and I just like it. So I bought this t-shirt. It is an extra small because I didn't really see a small and it also is a bit baggy in a way. So I got this for four pounds and again, it's that sort of length that it's cropped, but it's not very short. Really, really like it. I think that color just, I don't know, I just like it. And then I got a dress, and again, I'm not sure how this fits, but I'm quite hopeful because I quite like it. So it is this blue dress here, and it just has like buttons running down the front. I'm not sure, yeah, there you go. And it goes to like normal length. I'm hoping it's not too short because I might wear it for work. Like, I kind of want to wear it for normal days and also for work. So I'm hoping it's not very short. But then on the back, it has. If I can show you this, on the back it has like a little string to make it tighter around your waist and just, I don't know, just more fitting towards your body, really. This was £10 and they had a few different colors. They had like two other, they had two shades of pink and this blue, I believe. So, I don't know, I just thought it was quite nice. It's a very thin fabric, so really nice for summer. And then we go into the Disney tops. They had so many Disney tops and there's... I really like Disney clothing, but I don't like it when, you know those typical shirts that you might wear on holiday or you might wear to Disneyland, where it's just like a plain t-shirt and then it has like huge print of Mickey Mouse on it, or like huge quote and it's just very in your face. I do like tops where you can notice and you can clearly see that it's Disney. I don't want to say it like that, because I know a lot of people wear them and a lot of people like them and don't want to offend anyone, but those sort of tops where like a huge Mickey just seem a bit childish to me. Even though this is probably more childish looking at it, I'm not sure. But I just don't, I'm just not a big fan of those. So I do like making tops, but a bit different. So let me just show you what I got. The first one is this top here. It's just a black t-shirt with a few different colored lines. And then a little Mickey embroidered on the side there. So it is clearly a Disney top, but I just think it's more wearable. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. But I really like this one. This was £8 and it's really cute. And then I got a more in-your-face one like this. So it's just a white top and then the Mickey shape in different colors. I'm not sure if I want to wear this. That's the back actually, but it's the same in the front. Like that. I'm not sure if I want to wear this out normally or just to bed. I think it might look cute like if you do like a knot on the side. You know what I mean? Like you tie the front a little bit with a knot on the side. That might look cute. And I'm not sure this was six pounds, but I just I just thought it was cute and bought it. I also bought a dress a couple weeks ago that it's still in the shops because I've seen it this morning. It's in the wardrobe over there. I don't want to move because it's gonna mess up the lighting, the setup, and everything. But I will show it in the cutaway here. I'm going to a wedding in August and I bought another dress, but this is another option for the wedding. I'm not sure what to wear. I'm not sure if it's wedding appropriate or if it's not. It might just be nice for other occasions, but I quite like it, so I'm keeping it, but I'm just not sure what I'm gonna do with it, really. So that's it for the clothing, I'm gonna move on to shoes. So for that wedding that I was talking about, I need shoes, and I thought nude heels would go well with it, but I just didn't have any, so I had to buy some. The thing is, I bought two options, I'm not sure which ones I like, and at the minute I'm liking both for different things, so 
I didn't want this to happen, I didn't want to keep both, but it looks at the minute like I might keep both. I'm not sure. If you can give me your opinion on what you think. So I got this pair here and this is my least favorite at the minute because I'm not a big fan of the platform things now. They're just nude, these were two, 12, two, I wish they were two pounds, but they were 12, which is still really good, but not two. Nude heels like that with the little platform thing, which I'm not the biggest fan of at the minute. And the second pair, they look like this, and they're just, again, nude heels. These have like that plastic sort of material, they're a bit darker than the other ones, and they do not have a platform. So I kind of like these ones more. They're also a bit shorter than the other ones, but because they don't have a platform, my foot is actually like more inclined than with the other ones. I'm just not sure what to do with any of them. Then I got a pair of sandals that I actually wore this morning, so um, they're a bit dirty in the bottom. They look like this, and they're just black with the little tassel here, there. Um, can you see that? A little tassel there. And golden hardware, if you want to say. These were five pounds. I quite like them. This bit here is quite cushioned, so it was really comfortable to walk with. Five pounds. I really like Primark sandals because I don't wear them that often because London and I don't know. I just don't wear them that much. So for five pounds, I just really like them and I buy them. And then because we're going on holiday to the beach in August, I bought some flip flops because they're 90p, so I might as well. I got this pair of just plain white ones. I wanted black, but they were out of my size. And then I got some yellow ones with some little lemons on them. Again, 90p each. You cannot go wrong with them. They're just cute. Yeah, if they get stolen, if they get broken, if they just, I don't know, they just get damaged, they were 90p. I do not mind. And now we go into the really random section. So, the first thing, and again, they had so many Disney things in the clothing section and also in the home section, which, which was a bit of a struggle for me as a Disney fan because I wanted to buy it all but I couldn't because what am I doing with it? So the first thing that I got is this throw here. This is a Toy Story throw with little aliens. This was £6 and I just love that little alien. If you guys know, I bought one of the plush toys at Disneyland and I have that somewhere here. I just really like them so I had to buy this throw and my boyfriend was like um why did you buy that but then he felt it and if you guys know Primark throws are just very very soft so then he was like okay maybe it wasn't that bad of an idea then I got two mugs the first one that I bought I just really like both my boyfriend and I are quite Star Wars fans he's a bigger Star Wars fan than I am to be honest but we both really like it so I found this mug which is one of the stormtroopers and this was six pounds and I thought he's gonna think that it's cool but very unnecessary but cool nonetheless and that's exactly what he thought and it's just this mug here it's quite big I'm not sure if we're gonna use it for drinking or for just storing things and little bits in it I'm not sure but I quite like it I think it's cool and yeah but then I saw this other mug and I was wondering which one I wanted from the two it's another Star Wars mug I was just looking at them which one do I buy but I saw this next one was reduced to just one pound so I bought them both and this is just an R2D2 mug that just has like the little drawing and then it says R2T2 because you know you drink tea with it and I just thought it was really cute and just one pound so I bought both of them so we will be drinking out of this one normally and the last thing that I got is probably the most random one and I was quite excited when I saw it because I thought yes this is a good idea for a holiday we're gonna enjoy this this is gonna be cool and I showed it to my boyfriend and he was a bit like um why so I bought this set of two inflatable rackets and a little inflatable bowl for the beach this was two pounds fifty and I just thought it was a really good idea because you go to the beach and yeah you go and sunbathe and swim for a little bit but what do you do the rest of the time you get bored i get bored so i thought this would be a good idea and really easy to carry in our luggage because it's not going to be heavy you just put it in a corner as you can see it's quite thin and i thought it was a great idea and he didn't really but we'll see when we go there if we actually use it or not if we do then it's a good idea and that's basically everything that I got at Primark. If you guys like this haul, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And I will see you guys later with another video. Bye!